Hello everyone, I decided to do a vlog in with Earl and start back up even though some of the videos there in the playlist have been sanitized by YouTube I decided that there's other YouTubers out there right now that are doing uh, podcasts and are actually talking about different things uh, such as different RPGs uh, different myths and legends, uh, different other types of stuff. So I decided that uh, I might as well uh, talk about some of the things that have happened to me over the last decade that I never really put down. You see, being a homeless person for the last 10 years has given me a perspective about what is really out there in the world, especially when I was camping out in the middle of the wildernesses and I'm here to tell you that I've had some very hairy experiences and I mean that literally and as you can see I am also very hairy because of the fact that I grow my hair and I'm quite hairy so anyway I think you can get where I'm talking about you know we got a legend in Arizona called the Mogollon Monster. A lot of people say that it's not real. Other people say it is real. I know for a fact, 100%, it's real. You see, there was a young man who basically was camping out and told me about his experience. I asked him, I said, what are the GPS coordinates of that exact area? He gave them to me. So I decided to go there to see, and I found the place, described it to a T. The canyon was there, and there was a road, sort of a path, you might say. So I decided, well, heck, I'm going to bed down here and see if I see one of these hairy creatures. Guess what? I didn't. But the next morning, I got up and decided, well, I'm going to travel the ravine. that This creature has been known to travel. So I traveled, and I traveled, and I traveled, and I traveled long distance. Guess what? This was in the White Mountains of the Mogollon Rim that I was traversing down one of the canyons, and I got to a place that was kind of sheltered and uh, looked like uh, quite possibly an old cave or something possibly one of their nests. Anyway, I uh, went in there and there wasn't any trash. There wasn't anything. It was quite clean as though it was picked clean. There was no bones, no nothing, which was weird to me. So I figured that somebody must have been using it and packed everything out or some type of archaeologist found it and decided to clean out the cave. Anyway, there was only one way in and one way out, and I knew that if anything coming in after me, I'd be able to take it on and take it out before it got inside the cave to me. So, I positioned my gun right beside me, had my Bowie knife on me, when I, and about 1 a.m. in the morning, I heard this low... And some trees cracking and whatever else. I knew right then and there that one of these creatures known as the Mogollon Monster was coming. But he didn't know I was there. I stayed real quiet. I just laid there with my gun pointed right at the um, cave entrance. He went right on past, cracking through. Never even knew I was there. Next morning I got up. I went investigating, sure enough, he had taken down and uprooted an entire freaking tree, whatever else. I figured he is still in the area, and I figured I should get the hell out of there. That's just one of the stories. Guess what? I got other stories and whatever else, and if you like that one, then guess what? I got more where that came from. Have a good day, and welcome back to Vlogging with Earl.